Hey guys, how he's going? So, uh, <clears throat> finally broke an axle on the uh, General. So I'm about to uh, replace this. I've been a bit MIA lately with uh, videos and stuff. I've um, been in America for five weeks. Went to SEMA and a bunch of other events and stuff like that. So um, this is the first job that I had to get back into when I come home. But yeah, America was really cool. Um, as it always is, I always go there once a year and had a blast. SEMA was epic. Drove a Nissan GTR at uh, Speed Vegas, so it was pretty fun. Um, so yeah, let's get into uh, replacing this uh, here grab shaft. So this is pretty straightforward on the general. You pretty much just undo that upper control arm from here. Undo the CV from inside the uh, center of the bearing there. Um, undo the sway bar on both sides so you can kick it up out of the way. The only issue I have is I broke the thing on that end so now I've got to try and get that. Normally you just keep these very centered and straight and one hard pull and they'll pop out but as you can see mine's broken up in there and um, yeah this is going to be pretty hard to get out so I'll, uh, I'll come back to you when I figure out a solution. Yeah, well, that's out now. So basically all I did was use that pry bar and then tap the other side with the hammer and just stuck the pry bar up. You can see that's where it goes in up in there. I stuck the pry bar up in there behind it and then just gave the other side of it a tap with the hammer as I was putting a bit of pressure and um, yeah, she's come out. So with mine being not that not very old it's um still got a lot of grease on there so she come out pretty easy so for those guys that probably do a lot of water riding and stuff i'd probably um if you've broken it up here like i have and you don't want to go ahead and take the exhaust off and take everything else off you could probably put a ratchet strap around this and then if you could like go across to something else in your shed or a post or something you can just just put a, just crank a little bit of pressure on it then get a pry bar and hammer and belt it across I think you might be in luck to get it out you just need to have that constant pressure against this little circlip to make it slide out so yeah but mine's out so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put that new one in and put this in there so I'll just put a little bit of grease on there what you want to do is if you can see this um, little clip here Try and keep that as centered as the best you can because if one edge hangs right over like that and this side's pushed right in you've got buckleys are pushing that drive shaft in there so keep it as centered as you possibly can like so that way you're giving it the best chance best chance of going back in Not yet. So I'm going to go ahead now and try and slide it back in. I won't be able to do it while I'm holding the phone, but I just want to give it a, a really good push. If it's not going in, pull it back out and check this clip again because it may have slid over. So, not yeah, yet. A, bit a uh, nice firm push in, and now you can see that's that little clip's locked in. So, so yeah, just make sure it's centered and you should have no dramas. We're going to go ahead now and um, bolt all this back into the hub and um, put it all back together. So we're all uh, back in, it's all located back up. Just uh, just finished tightening the top of my arm bolt. Um, pretty pretty straightforward to the general. Um, I am putting these uh, spacers on. I know they're not the best thing, but um, I don't really want to spend all this money on arms and stuff just to get a bit of a wider track. So I'm going to run these two inch spacers. Um, yeah, so I've already done the front. The front looks really cool. Interested to see how the ride goes. I'll um, I'll get all this bolted back up, and I'll uh, I'll let you know how it feels with these spaces on. I also do have a um, as you know from a past video, I've got the uh, the three inch lift in this thing too. So I'll 
get this on and uh, I'll come back Those to you. are on. Looks pretty tough now. That new drive shaft is in there. Hopefully don't break another one in a hurry. You can see the, uh, the wider wheel track now. Looks way better. If you're going to put spaces on, just make sure you just you just check them every now and again that they're not coming loose. But um, put some Loctite or something on them when you put them on. Just to make sure. That's the only downfall about spaces. They can break and they come loose. But um, I'm pretty happy with it. For what, what I would do with it, it's, it's fine. So. If I was going to go all out, I'd get a, a different set of wheels with a different offset and everything to change that up. So. But nah, very happy. Alright guys, I'm going to go and do some work now and I'll uh, see you on the next video. See ya.